Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. This is episode three of the Homemaking for Dummies series. If this is the first video that you clicked on, I will link the playlist down below and up above. This episode is all about no-nos for homemaking, so let's get into it. The first tip, do not mix vinegar and bleach together. I don't even want my worst enemies to do this. This is very dangerous. Do not mix these two chemicals together. I'm not telling you this so that you can go and try it just like that one challenge where people said something about putting your iPhone in the microwave and people were falling for it. Don't do it. Do not put bleach and vinegar together. It will release vapors that make it hard for you to breathe. Don't mix those together. Maybe I will do an entire video on household chemicals to avoid mixing together so but for starters do not mix your vinegar and your bleach together and if you don't know about a certain combination of cleaning chemicals google it please for for your safety and your family's safety just google it the next thing is to always read cleaning bottles before using them on surfaces so if you buy a new cleaning product that says it is a great all-purpose cleaner, make sure you're reading the back of it because even all-purpose cleaners, some of them say do not use on porous tile surfaces, do not use on wood, so read the labels. The next thing is while you're doing your laundry, never use bleach on colors. Unless you're trying to bleach the color out of something, don't put bleach in your color wash because they're going to come out looking a little funky looking like you tried to tie-dye bleach something. And I'm sure you don't want to do that with your nice shirts. Color safe bleach and chlorine bleach are not the same thing. They are two different things. I will list the little scientific stuff right here because I can't remember it off the top of my head of what makes each one different, but just know that they are not the same. The next thing is do not wash your whites with your reds. This burgundy red dress I have on will be washed with all of the other red clothing that I own. Whites get washed in hot. If I'm washing them with my whites, the reds can bleed into my whites and my whites will no longer be white when I pull them out of the washer. They will be a light shade of pink, which sounds pretty, but I don't think I want my white button down shirt that I bought as a white button down shirt to be light pink. Otherwise I would have bought a light pink shirt. Next tip is do not put anything wool in the dryer. If you have something that's this big made of wool and you put it in the dryer, it's going to come out this big or smaller. I've heard some crazy stories about some wool clothing items that didn't end well in the dryer. I have a few wool skirts and wool jackets and, and they are a bit pricier than other fabrics. So I take good care of them and I do not throw them in the dryer. And this next one I'm guilty of. I've done this before and I have learned my lesson. Do not put regular dishwashing soap into the dishwasher if you run out of dishwasher detergent. They are not the same thing. Yes, they both clean dishes, but you will open up your dishwasher to suds overflowing and if you don't catch it in time, they're going to overflow out of the dishwasher onto your kitchen floor. It's just going to be a disaster. So make sure you know the difference between the dishwashing detergents. Okay. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe, and of course, share. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.